Greetings and welcome back to Rise of Cultures. And the grinding has been completed. We are now ready to move from early Rome to the Roman Empire. There is but one obstacle in our path. And there he is in the upper left right there. That's Alexander. Wave to him. Because after this, we're never going to see him again. Because he's going to forever be in my inventory. And I am never going to use him. I never want to see another wall ever again. So how did we get here? As I said, grinding. So let's talk about what I did. First, of course, I took care of Sabina. I, I mean, I did her missions. Don't tell Felix. From there, I started doing the battles, of course. See, territory six and seven of the Macedonian kingdom, that was a total of nine battles. So there was a lot of grinding going on in there. And as it is right now, there's only one left. There's one location. And of course, He's there. When we do that, we're going to get two plots in China. And you're going to see how useful that's going to be. Speaking of China, let's go back over there and talk about what I did for the emperor. And what I think is coming up next. Okay, so here's the thing. I was able to get to this in order to activate it. So we have that. That took care of the, the moth stuff there, right? Uh, then, of course, he wanted me to get... Uh, another one of these, the uh, thread processor. So I squeezed that in. And then, of course, the last thing, we had to have uh, four average homes to level three. So the fourth one is over here. And, of course, it's up to level three. Now, the bridge. I'm doing the bridge. That's actually stage two. I'm willing to bet that's the first thing he's going to ask me for. Why do I say that? Well, there is two plots that I'm going to get when I beat Alexander, which means all of this will be completed in early Rome, which means for Roman Empire, we're going to be moving over here and whatever these things are, which means the first thing he's going to ask me for is fixing the bridge, probably three stages. This stage is actually taking 12 hours, so there's you know two hours and 20 minutes of that left. But clearly, that's going to be the first thing he asked me for. He might start saying you might upgrade some other things or something like that. But at the moment, uh, I'm not going to be too concerned over that. So when we get these two plots, we're definitely going to put them in there and we'll see what we're going to build. There are some things that we can build still that they didn't require me to. Uh, another average home. You know, that's more people. Um, another rice farm. Actually, I can make two rice farms here. Uh, I have been going crazy with the rice, so I do have a lot of it. Uh, we can't make any more of these. So I don't know what's going to pop up in the future. I know that there is more trade items that we're going to have to start working on. These th ones here. I don't know if they're going to be upgrades of the ones we have right now. Or are they going to be new ones? Probably going to be new ones since, you know, clay, porcelain, and, you know, silk and silk threads don't really go together, if you know what I mean. So I'm guessing we're going to be heading towards new processors and probably maybe just upgrading these in the future. So we'll see what that's all about. Probably that's what these things are for. I'm guessing that's what that's for. Okay, so when we beat Alexander, I'll start working on these so we can get them going. Uh, I have a lot of workers so I can do them at both at the same time. It shouldn't be a problem. All right, so let's just pop on back. By the way, you might notice I have a lot of research. Yes, I do. I have a lot. Somebody was saying, oh, you should just spend all of that so it'll regenerate. Yeah, in other words, waste all of it, right? That's what you're saying. Here, let's take a look at something. Uh, where are my wonders? Yeah, I mean, two are filled. The other one, I'm not going to put 180 in that because I don't really think it's worth it. By the way, you might notice I can make the Temple of Artemis. And we're going to be doing that too. I'm hoping it's not going to have any problem fitting in there. All right, because I am a little short on space. So I'm hoping it fits nicely in there. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I got a little bit of room over there. It's just that I may have to start reaching in for the gems if I'm not going to start getting more space when it comes to uh, uh, the Roman Empire. Because I do know there's going to be one extra thing. Apparently, I was looking through there, and eventually, I'm going to get siege weapons. So that is an extra building I'm going to need. So we'll have to see how that works out in the future. But uh, this, of course, has been done for a very long time, and it's waiting for that last mission, right? We already have everything loaded in there. Um, I am ready for the next one, though, 
but we'll worry about that after we deal with him up here. And that is what we're going to do right now. Boy, I hope I win this battle. Okay, so let's just uh, let's go in there and take care of this. Okay, so going to wipe that smile off his face. You and your walls. I just love it when my warriors run to a wall while they're getting destroyed by range guys right over on the side. I mean, literally, they're not blocked at all, but they're attacking the wall instead of the guys who are killing them. All right, rewards. Two plots in China, of course, and Alexander the Great, who will forever be in my inventory. And I'm guessing just probably one. Yeah, I'm going to get one. Yeah, at this point, I don't even care what I get. I mean, I wouldn't mind the prospect of upgrading the Artemis Temple in the future because that's going to give a bonus to my range damage. The thing is, it was so hard to get them in the first place. I don't foresee an upgrade for that for a very long time. All right, so why don't we just pop in and see what we got here? Okay, stop smiling. Stop smiling. And the walls, look at all those walls. Ugh. Okay, let's look at the battlefield and see what we got here. Okay, he is right up front. Is that him? No, he's in the back. There he is, right there. All right, so he's in the middle back there. Okay, so, um, well, let's lay them out. All right, I am just going to go with these guys here. Uh, I, do ha I do seemingly have the ability to put everything down, so that's good. Uh, last one here. Actually, I actually have a lot of room here. I'm not going to go around. The thing is that the horses, yeah, the horses and the, um, the heavy guys are both four each, so they're not going to fit. All right, so I think I should probably keep the cavalry back. I'll keep the cavalry on the sides. All right, where's the, the cavalry on the sides? Like that. So maybe they'll go around. Um, I want these guys up the middle so that we can, we can work on the horses here after the first rank. What I've learned is it's not really a good idea to um, have them directly go after. It's always good to have the grunts up front. All right, and then that, and then that. I could actually fit more stuff. This is actually the most room I've seen in a long time. I guess because it's a boss battle. Look at all those walls. Look at all those walls. Look at all those walls. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, let's get a quick heal in here. And then let's do some of this. Let's keep these guys busy. They have some melee back there, which is a little on the annoying side. But, I mean, the purpose is to keep them busy. So, yeah, see, they, were, they weren't they were supporting their melee there. Okay, could you guys just ride around the walls, please? Okay, but the thing about it is that Alexander is in there, and he's going to be the problem. Okay, hold on a minute. All right, um, hold it. Okay, can I just get... Oh. All right, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to get in here. Okay, bull. Okay, I think he's dead. Okay, I wanted to get in there, but we took care of him. Yeah, the horsies. The horsies took care of him. Okay, so what did we get left? Okay, there's one horse left. And, of course, all the ranged. If the ranged are all alive, it's a very good thing. Okay, I have gotten food. And we're going to acquire City of the Lions. Alexander the Great, remember upon the conduct of each depends the fate of us all. As you hold yourself in good steady, my people and I give deference to your leadership. In other words, I spanked you. Okay, so one, two, and Alexander the Great, bye. Yeah, no, I don't want your walls. Okay, and a little bit of Stonehenge. I have a lot of Stonehenge. Okay, so we're done. And I do mean we're done. All right, I might as well start uh, doing this because obviously we have to. All right, and let's click on this since we are now complete. Boom. Alexander the Great. Let, let it be known that Alexander is not a sore loser but I do like your style, so I'm going to work with you from now on. <laughs> no, you're not. 
Oh, that is a lot. I have a lot. Does it go to triple digits? Does the research go to triple digits? That's an interesting question. Did I just overflow? Okay. All right. New missions will... Um, okay. What do we have here? Okay. So I it's giving me a thing for Felix here. Okay. I'm just going to leave. I mean, maybe it's like an era that it can't be empty. You see that? Like it just, it can't be empty. Okay. So it wants me to do this. So we're going to unlock this and officially enter the Roman Empire. Okay, upgrade for the small home. Upgrade for a luxurious home. Okay, rural farm. Luxurious farm. City hall. Okay, the city hall is a freebie. Welcome to the Roman Empire. Does this mean that we're moving in and taking Julius out? I mean, who's going to be our next opponent? That would be interesting. We'll have to see about that. Okay, and upgrade that. And get the chest. Okay, everybody is happy. And let's start with Sabina. Hi, Sabina. How are you doing? You didn't tell Felix, did you? It's a pleasure to report. Yeah, I know. Shh, keep it to ourselves, right? It's a pleasure to report that we have successfully arrived in this new age, sire. I like it when you call me sire. The Roman Empire certainly gives us the opportunity to learn and expand our culture. Alrighty. Okay, have five buildings from the Roman Empire. Okay, so that means we have to do five upgrades. Random upgrades. Okay, spend uh, ten on any of the wonders. I suppose, well, I mean, I can do that to the uh, Temple of Artemis, which I absolutely intend to do. So let's see. Okay, well, he's got two of them here. One of them is going to be asking me for the bridge, right? Okay, research one technology in the Roman Empire for uh, China. Okay, that's fine. That means the other one is the bridge. You have helped make my generation one that will stand in the annals of history and my name be remembered for countless generations. Who are you again? With these final tasks, your work will be complete. Yeah, the bridge. Okay, so I did the first one already. And the second one. You gave me money for the first one. You gave me rice for the second. Alrighty. Right to might. Caesar certainly warrants that your skills have brought you this far. But people willingly believe what they wish. Therefore, Caesar is interested to know how you handle the next challenges. And I'm interested how somebody can continually speak of themselves in a third person. Very strange. Very strange indeed. All right. So, uh, yeah, that first one, I think. Oh, we're fighting them. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah. See, I did a lot of grinding in terms of the trade. By the way, we have 103. It does handle triple digits. Um, yeah, this one right here. I had to grind out, using the trading system, a lot of columns for that. Look at how many columns I had. I had, like, less than 100. So I had to keep doing trade deals back and forth, back and forth, because I wanted to do this, and I wanted to do this. So my melee has been upgraded. And actually, I did his first part of that mission, didn't I? Okay, the next thing I want is capes. The reason is because that is a trade item for this generation that is going to allow me to get a lot more trade points. So here's the thing. Let's look at this for a moment. Okay, Roman Empire, mosaic, goblet, and cape. So where are the other ones? There they are, right at the end. Goblet, mosaic. And along the way, you know, I'm going to need... Hold on a second, let's see. Um, here. Yeah, see, look, right here. I need 2,000, like 3,000 goblets over here, and I need 1,200 of the mosaics over here. So, in other words, I really do need to get the, uh, the trade coins going so that I can buy the other ones because I'm not going to be able to make them for a long time. All right, but we have upgraded this, and I kind of looked through there, and there doesn't seem to be a way to increase the amount of trade coins I can actually hold at one time, which is a little bit on the limiting side. But uh, I am going to be cranking those guys out as quickly as possible. Um, I mean, upgrading the cultural sites 
is actually good too because it'll raise the happiness all around. And this is the one that I believe the emperor wants me to do. I mean, if I had the, um, what are these again? I think they're like gold bracelets, I think they are. Or are they bra uh, copper bracelets or brass? I don't remember which they are. Uh, well, actually, hold on a minute. Da, 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 da. Bronze. Okay, they're bronze. Bronze bracelets. Um, I could just do this one immediately, and I think that's the one the emperor really wants me to do since that's the first one, right? Okay, so let's just pop over there for a moment because there's a couple of pieces of land that I need to start gathering, right? All right, so... Well, you need nine for that, huh? Okay, not a problem. And ten for that one. Fortunately, I had lots of workers lined up. And this one will be done in two hours, and then I'll do the other one. And then he'll probably say, grab that. But then again, I'm going to need more... Um, I'm going to need plot over here, ain't I? I'm guessing that the first battle area, the first region, will give me more over here. I'd kind of like it to give me one of each. That would be good. So if I just claim the one over the bridge, I should be able to grab this and start gathering whatever it is I'm supposed to gather from there. Probably... This kaolin, I'm guessing that's what that's for, right? Okay, so that's taken care of. This is taken care of. All right, I need to start doing upgrades. So let's see, what do I need to upgrade this? A little bit on the expensive side. How many did she say she wanted? Five. Five. Also, I have to spend the re... Oh, yeah, right. That reminds me. That reminds me. Let's do this right now, right? Uh, wonders. Temple of Artemis. Oh, is that going to fit? Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Col oh, the Colosseum's up next. All right, wait a minute. Uh, let's see. I got all of this. This shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so there's the 20. That took care of her problem, right? All right, food. I should have all these. Shouldn't be any problem. I got thousands of them, right? Okay, I need 14 people. Okay, that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, what might be a problem is fitting it. Um, is this going to fit? Uh, no, it isn't. That's a problem. All right, I'm going to have to move something. Maybe this farm? Okay. Um, okay, hold off a minute. Let's just, uh, let's just stop for a moment. All right, hopefully that's all loaded in and I can just put it. All right, let's take this farm, which I would love to get rid of, but unfortunately, they're going to they probably ask it for me, ask me about it again someday, you know? All right, so I was kind of hoping it would fit there, but it's apparently very large. All right, Temple of Artemis. Okay, build, and okay, it is fitting in there now. Oh, no, it isn't fitting in there because it's too wide. Oh my goodness gracious, are you kidding me? I've waited all this time and it won't fit. How do I even do this? Oh, that is a that's a big old pain. I mean, how am I supposed considering all the stuff that I had to build? How was oh, okay, never mind. Never mind. I will try to find a way one way or another you know i'll try to find a way um maybe i need to put it over here and i can move these guys over here i mean it might be a width issue though i mean it won't, it's more than one that's the problem it's more than one uh, square but i mean i might be able to fit it there all right, I'll, I'll play with it and see whether or not... I really wanted to put it in there, but apparently it is very long and very wide. Sabina can tell you about that. Okay, so let's just see about... Oh, I already got one upgrade. Oh, where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? Here we go. All right, so let's start working on these because this is the easiest way to do this. One, and then... Oh, wrong one. I grabbed the same one again. All right, and two... And three, and just keep cranking them up, right? And last one. All right, so that should be those five. She, those should be fine for her. And I think I already gave you, yeah, technically I did put it into the wonder. I just didn't deploy it yet. 
Oh, I already have one building. You know, it's probably this building. It is, actually, because after all, this is, this is a Roman building. Uh, Roman Empire building, not early Rome. And, of course, I actually do need to start uh, restoring my troops, don't I? So I will do the infantry, because I need to upgrade them anyway. By the way, how much is that going to cost? Oh, that's a whole bunch of those, isn't it? Okay, yeah, I'm going to have to do that. Wow, that's actually fairly expensive. But then again, those are actually really important. Uh, what I do see, though, is that restoring them is going to cost me um, an extra person now. Right now, I can restore these guys with five workers. Now I'm going to need six. That's kind of a pain. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. So we have, um, you know, what I should do is I can just pour that in there. That way I can refill my research again because this is the next one up. You know, I want I wanted this one here so that I can upgrade my melee. And I wanted this one over here so I can start working on that as a trade item. Um, I'll upgrade uh, my tailors so that I can actually do that. And then I can use that as my primary source of uh, trade goods here. Um, for instance, I was using the tunic mostly. I still go back to the toga a little bit, but I might as well maybe upgrade them too over time. That way I can just crank out the capes from now on because, you know, you get the most expensive one, you can buy everything underneath it easier. Yeah, I got to get a lot of stone tablets going. Do I? I don't have anything left. I have no workers available. So the real new grind begins. But we are now in the Roman Empire. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See you.